Hi everybody, it's Angie. I hope you guys are all doing great today. Um, today we're going to talk about something a little bit different. Today we're going to talk Timu. Yeah. So I have been very, very reluctant to jump on the Timu bus, train, whatever. Um, it just seemed too good to be true, right? And then I've heard horror stories, you know, about credit card information being shared or whatever. Um, so I finally took the plunge and after talking to some friends and placed a fairly large Timu order. It came in two shipments. It was one order, but it came in two shipments. Um, they both came on the same day, though. It was kind of weird. But it didn't take too long to get here. I want to say maybe seven to ten days from the day I ordered. I could look it up for sure. Um, what I'm going to try to do... Okay, it was delivered on October 19th. And uh, it doesn't show the date that I ordered. Um, but what I want to try to do is, uh, they always want you to do their ads or whatever. Um, view more. Let's see. October 12th. So seven days. Seven days. Not bad. Not bad. So what I want to do, because I'm really kind of not sure what to expect here, I'm going to open the item, look at the item, and then show you a picture of what I got versus what I was sent, because some of them seem way too good to be true. So let's see what we got. I'll open, I'll do the small package first, because I don't know what's in what. I haven't, I haven't even opened these yet. They've been sitting here for 10 days, and I've ch been chomping at the bit to get at them. But I wanted to, like, give you my real... Um, Reaction. So, I ordered a little bit of everything. Uh, some craft supplies, some just stuff. So, this is what came shipped like, this part of the package. Um, I ordered some socks for me and my girls for Christmas. I always put socks and underwear in our stockings. So, this was five pairs of socks. I'm not going to show you the picture of what it was supposed to look like because it looks exactly like it was supposed to look. They look like pretty decent socks. So five pairs of socks in, you know, a good range of basic colors. And I don't know, they seem pretty decent to me. They feel nice and soft. You know, they're the right size. So, okay, I'm happy with those. Those were super cheap. 80% um, polyester, 20% spandex. All right, happy with those. And I got three packs of those, like I said, because I got one for me and one for each of my girls. I want to say they were like $5. So, yeah, they were. They were $5. So $5 for five pairs of socks. Can't beat that. Um, so there's another pack of those. And another pack of those. So, so far, we're batting 1000 I feel happy about that. So then I ordered, I couldn't resist this when I saw it. This um, was a last minute addition. Oh my gosh, it's so nice. Wow, I am shocked. I am shooketh. It is this adorable fox scarf. Isn't that just cute? <laughs> I just think that's so super cute. And of course it's orange, so I had to have it. But, um, so it's just this fox scarf and this is what it looks like on the back. So the back is a little bit different than the front. But it's very, um, the yarn is actually, you can see how fuzzy it is. It's very soft. It's very nice. I'm not disappointed in that at all. That's better than I had hoped it would be. I really expected it to be kind of um, more chimpsy. You know what I mean? Like worse yarn, but that's, that's very cute. I'm, yeah, I'm happy with that. Wow. So far, so good, right? This is not looking bad for Timu. That looks just like I, it looks better than I thought it was going to look. So that's good. So now we've got some more socks. And I also ordered three packs of these socks. Now these, hmm, I'm not sure. These were supposed to be, yeah, these are, yeah, not, well, I don't know. So there are five pairs of these floral socks and they're kind of uh, odd material. They're almost, well, they're not bad. They're not bad. They're just, they just looked wrinkly in the package. I guess, see how they kind of look like um, puckered a 
little bit puckered, but you know, when you put it on your skin, they look fine. Um, five pairs again for five bucks of all these floral prints. So you've got these gray ones with daisies and then these green ones here. See what I mean there, how they look kind of like puckered? They're fine, but these ones, yeah, you can really tell with these ones, the puckery look. And these flowered ones, and these flowered ones, yeah. And the tops are kind of weird on those ones. Maybe, maybe they're supposed to look like that, I don't know. I don't know, but okay. I, I, I'm good with those. I mean, they're fine. These ones don't say, oh yeah, they do say what they are made of. Let's see. I don't have my glasses on. 50% cotton, 45 polyester, five spandex. Okay, I mean, I'm not overly thrilled with those, but I'm not super disappointed either. Those are fine. Uh, then, ooh, I was really excited about this. I really hope that this is gonna be, um, as good as I had hoped. So, I love Halloween. Halloween is one of my favorite holidays. And yeah, no, this isn't. Uh, this is a Halloween little cardigan type thing. And I just loved the um, retro cat, you know, the retro looking cat and pumpkin and ghost. Uh, I'll show you the back. You can see more of the design from the back. And I mean, I'm going to wear it. Halloween's tomorrow. I'm going to wear it. It's fine, but it's just, it's thin. You know, it's very thin and um, the material is very, um, mm, I, don't, I don't know quite how to describe it polyester not polyester even it's like spandexy and then it's got this weird little collar I'm gonna I'm gonna pop it on real quick and just see because what size did I order an extra large so because I have heard that you should order like bigger you know so normally I would be a large so I got an extra large and again I'm putting this on over a sweater so got to take that into consideration a little bit too so just stand up and yeah I mean it fits it's cute it's definitely not going to be warm you know this is definitely an in the house type of top it's not like a real like sweatshirt material or anything but it's definitely the size that they say it's going to be uh the color like I said is a little bit can you see how that collar kind of like raises up like a like a mock turtleneck kind of collar feels a little funky but I mean it's fine for what I paid for it. Let me see what I paid for it. I'll tell you guys what I paid for it. Let me see, how does it smell? I was a little worried about how it was gonna smell too. It smells fine. Um, let's see if I can find that shirt in my order. Um, here it is. Well, why won't you let me see it? Hmm, it won't let me look at the, why won't it let me look at the item? Okay, there it is, okay. Oh, boy, it won't let me look at the item. Order details, let's see. Uh, I'm sorry, I apologize. I, I thought that I was gonna be able to do this. Nope, it's not letting me do it. Hmm. So I can't tell you what I paid for it. I'm sorry. And, I, and I'm not familiar enough with Timu's site to uh, to be able to do a search on it or anything like that. Um, but I want to say it was 10 to $12. I, 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 sh I, did, I shopped really cheap. You know what I mean? I, I was looking for bargains. So the next thing I ordered were these. I thought these would be fun for my grandgirls um, and little nieces and nephews for Halloween. Give them each one of these. It's this little bag of, I think there's like 10 in here, of little light up rings. So let's see if they work. Oh, they do. Cute. Those are super cute. Not mad at those. 
as long as they all work. I mean, that one works. So I've got a ghost, a pumpkin, a googly eye, a bat, that's cute, a skeleton, and, oh, they're all different. Different kind of scary guy. Oh, there's a couple of the same. More pumpkins, more skeletons. Oh, and a spider. So, I, these were like five bucks for ten of them. Pretty happy with that deal. Overall, I gotta say, so far so good. So then I ordered this belt. Now, I had, you know, again, not the highest of hopes for this. Um, but it was just so pretty I couldn't resist. And I ordered this in... Oh, it says one size. I wasn't sure. It's not too bad. Now, it's like a cork belt, you know what I mean? Um, but look at how pretty that is. Isn't that just, I loved it. I just thought it was so pretty, the design on there. Let's see how, I mean, I'm, t I'm giving it a good tug. It seems strong and decent. Make sure the latch works. Goes through the, I think it's gonna work. Yeah. Nice, okay. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Good deal, good deal. Okay, these I was a little bit leery of, but I was, you know, excited to try. These are, because they looked amazing in the, in the picture. Um, they're novelty lights. for Christmas. Oh, and they don't have batteries in them. So of course they don't. I wouldn't have expected them to, but I didn't think about grabbing batteries. Because honestly, I forgot everything I ordered. Um, but I can't wait to see these lit up. Two double A's. I could probably pause you and grab some double A's. Maybe I'll do that because I want you to see them. I want to see them. But it's a string, and I was I was concerned that they were going to be teeny weeny beeny. You know what I mean? Like ridiculously small, but they're not. They're a decent size. They are. Um, they're filled with like a holiday something. Like this one has a Christmas tree and snow, and then they light up. And it's a string that I would say is about four to about four feet long. Cute, and yeah, they're they're really cute. I like them, not bad. I'm gonna pause you for a second and go put some batteries in. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back, I've got the batteries. I should have turned my kitchen light down, but then I would have to get up and, and they are, they light up really nicely. They like, yeah, look at how cute, adorable. Those are, I mean, they're really, really cute. Uh, I don't remember how much these were. I want to say they were like between five and eight dollars. Um, and I, I love them. They're very, very cute. I think I might order more and put them across my um, threshold between my dining room and living room. I think they'd be cute there. Maybe with my garland. Put, hang them from the garland. Very cute. Or maybe I'll put them in my front window. Get a couple more strings and put them in my front window. Um, we'll see. They're cute. I bet you Nate's going to actually take them and put them on his. He has a little Christmas tree that he keeps in his game room. He'll probably just steal them and put them in there, which is fine. I think I'll get more. So then I got, this is craft related. Um, I'm always losing my darning needles. So I got this little rosewood. I can't get it open. Scissors. This little rosewood darning needle holder. And I think it came with needles in it. So it's very, it's actually really nice. This was, I think, $2. Oh yeah, it even has needles in it. Quite a few. It actually has sharp needles, like embroidery needles, but it has quite a few of them of different sizes. Nice, pretty impressed with that. Nice brass, you know, uh, top there. Now, of course, these are in a package. They're going to be hard to get back in, but yeah. I won't lose my needles.
those anymore. Hopefully. Then also craft related, I got this package of wooden buttons. Um, 50 pack of wooden buttons, just all different kinds. I thought that these would be pretty um, for sweaters that I make for my granddaughters. I thought they would be cute. Or anyone really. I, I'm, I'm certain that there's like some that are the same, you know what I mean, as each other. So if you need multiple buttons for one, for one uh, thing. And then this, I'm really excited about. These were only a couple bucks too. And I have been looking at these like on Etsy and in different yarn stores. Um, and I've wanted to get them, but I didn't want to pay how much um, I've seen them for. This is 50 pieces. And they're the little leather tags that say handmade with love that you can stitch onto your handmade garments. So, you know, you can put that on. You, you know what I'm going to use them for? Because I have trouble with my handmade wearables determining front and back a lot of times. So I'm going to put them in the back so I can identify the front and back of my sweaters. So you've got 50 of them. Whoops. Various um, colors. Uh, all the same size, but various colors. I'm happy with those. I'm glad I only spent a couple dollars on them rather than like how much, I mean, for 50 of them to get in other places I've seen would have been a lot, a lot more. Okay, last package in this um, is a craft kit. It is a uh, needlework kit, an embroidery kit. So let's see. This is what it's supposed to look like, which I think is just super cute with that shaggy Christmas tree, very cute. Um, it looks like the instructions are in English. That's awesome. A lot of times you don't get English instructions when you buy these kits. So it comes with a plastic hoop, which is wonderful. And that's a, probably an eight inch hoop. That's a big hoop. Um, and here is your canvas that has the, um, design on it for you to follow, the pre-printed design for you to follow along, and all your embroidery thread. There's quite a bit of thread too, and it even has some Krennic. I mean, it's not authentic Krennic, but uh, the, you know, the metallic. Um, quite a bit of floss, so I don't think you're gonna run out. Quite a bit of floss and a couple needles. Nice, oh, and little pom-poms to put for decorations on the Christmas tree. That, you know, this isn't like, I mean, it's fine. It's, it's fine, embroidery cloth. Um, I mean, it's not the worst I've ever seen. It's not the best, but it's not the worst either. So I'm happy with this. I want to say this kit was like $3.50. So that's, I mean, you, uh, if you ordered this from Amazon, it would probably be like 15 bucks, you know, it, $15, $20. So good deal. So far, I am pleasantly surprised with Timu and I haven't had to show you anything that really didn't match the picture. Okay, so now let's get into the big one. I don't want this video to take all day. I've got lots of other videos I need to film today. Okay, let's get in here. Now this is the one I ordered some stuff that, you know, Questionable, please. Questionable. Oh! Yeah! Wow! I am happily surprised with this. This is a wooden kit. Now I'm gonna, before I show you this, there is a little bit of uh, profanity on this kit. So if you have tender age people watching, you might want to not have them see this. Um, now this is smushed down here, but I'm sure that it can be, um, you know, it, it, it can be fluffed, but this is what it says. Now, anybody, I want you to tell me if you know what movie that's from. My fa this is for my sister because my family loves this movie. And my mom says this, oh, I'm sorry, this is for my mom. My mom says this every Christmas Eve. And it also comes with a little hanging rope and two little sticky things uh, to hang it. 
So it's not bad. It's not bad. You know, you could even change this out if you didn't, if you couldn't get it fluffied up. But I think I can get it fluffied up. So that's for my mom. I'm, I'm impressed with that. I, I'm pretty impressed with that. Hmm, nice. So far, so far, so good. Uh, so what do we got here? What do we got here? T-shirt. This is not bad. So this is uh, a t-shirt. Now this is their extra large. So I'm gonna say that's probably about, it's, I would normally wear a size large t-shirt. And this is their extra large. So I would definitely say you'll up a size. Uh, I, I think is a good plan. But it's nice, It's but isn't that cute? It's just got the jolly old vintage Santas on it. Doesn't tell me the fiber content. Feels like polyester though. You know, it's not cotton, um, which is fine. It might be partially cotton. It might be part cotton, um, which is fine. But I liked this and it, I think it was like, like between five and eight dollars again. Cute, I'm, I'm happy with that. I'm very happy with that. What else do we have? Oh, this is a prize for uh, my November, uh, no November diamond painting event that I'm co-hosting with Mindy from Mindy's Diamond Moment. So this is going to be one of the prizes, one of the weekly prizes, or part of one of the weekly prizes. And it's nice. Isn't that cute? It's a tote. It's a, a nice canvas. It's, it's actually a very nice canvas tote with these, um, they're like, a, like what you would use like for a toe strap, kind of. I mean, they're heavy duty. They're... They're not gonna break or anything. But that's a nice tote. I'm very happy with that. And isn't he a nice looking gnome? He's a, he's a very good looking guy. Impressed, I'm impressed. Yes, yes I am. Okay, let's dig in here and get something else. I'm strategically saving a couple of things for last because they're the ones I'm questioning the most. So I've got another t-shirt. This is another extra large. Looks to be the same size as the other one. This one feels a little bit more cottony and less polyester spandexy, um, but this is really cute. I like it. Happy with that. Okay, so far, I might be a convert. Oh, and now we have another one of, this is gonna be another part of a prize for November for the diamond painting event. And he also needs batteries, darn it. So I won't be able to show you him in all his glory unless I steal the batteries out of the other guy. But he's a light up gnome. So the batteries go in the bottom there and he glows. Isn't he cute? I love him. He's very cute. He's got, yeah, nice sweater or nice uh, knitted hat. How can they sell this stuff so cheap? I know, I don't want, you know, and please, if you have people who hate or whatever because of, you know, fast fashion and exploitation and you know whatever I you can keep those comments to yourself I, I don't really care so and then I got another one of him in gray so uh that'll be for another week of winners then I got these uh Christmas tags I, I'm always running out of tags at Christmas so this is a uh, roll of 300 um Christmas tags self stick those are nice. Let's see how thick they are. Oh, they're a nice thickness too. They're like craft paper um, tags and there's all different uh, uh, designs. And I liked these because of the size of the area for writing. I hate those teeny little self stick tags. So I wanna say there's like a dollar fifty. Seriously, how could you go wrong? Okay, next. What do we got next? <laughs> okay, this is another one that you may or may not want to have sensitive eyes look away from. Um, this, I got two of these. Uh, my brother-in-law and I sh exchange gag gifts at Christmas, and um, they have a lot of cats. And so, and then I got one of these for Maddie as well because she's a cat lover. Uh, but it's a 2024 calendar of, um, I'll let you read it. <laughs> so every month, 
Must show a pair. I don't know. Let's open one up and look. Uh, I just thought this was hilarious. January. March. <laughs> it's, it's stupid. I know. It's stupid. But I'm glad. I think that it'll work really, really well for my gag gift for my brother-in-law. And a gag gift for me. She'll dig it. And it's pretty, I mean, that's nice card stock. Or pretty good quality. Not bad, not bad. Okay. Um, what else do we have? What else do we have? What is this? I got another wearable? Uh, can I throw this in at the last minute or something? Because I don't remember this. I don't remember this at all. Oh, yes, I do. Okay, so this is a sweatshirt, and I just thought it was, I don't know, I just liked it. Now, it is quite a bit bigger than I thought it would be. Now, this one, I, I again, went up a size. Um, what do you call it? Yeah, extra large. I probably could have gotten away with a large on this one. Um, it was pretty big. It was pretty big. But it's cool, isn't it? And, I, and it has a hood. It's hooded. Now, this one is a little bit thicker than that cat one, and it feels a little bit more cottony, but it's definitely not a sweatshirt. Um, it's not fleecy, um, but it has a, you know, a nice uh, bo bottom, and like I said, that hood. I don't know. I think it's pretty nice. I'm going to wear it this fall. I like it. I like it. Not bad. Oh, this one I'm super excited about, too. This is for our retreat in May. I'm going to wear this because it is uh, cowboy themed. And I just fell in love with this shirt. Tell me that is not the cutest darn thing you've ever seen. Little cowgirls. I love it. It's adorable. Super cute. Yeah, I mean, better than I expected. It's better than I expected. Put it that way. It's not, you know what I mean? It's not like haute couture or anything, but it's better than I expected. Another gnome bag, just like the other one for uh, winter for the uh, gnome member DP. And then I got, why do I have two of these? Did I order two? Each one has five pieces. And, oh, they are Christmas tree ornaments. Oh, I know why I got two of these, and I can't say. Um, they're Christmas tree ornaments that are chickens. Aren't they adorable? They're so super cute. I had to have those. I, you know, I love anything chicken. I'm the crazy chicken lady. So, um, you know, if the recipient of the other pack watches this, she's going to know who she is. And you guys probably know who she is, too. All right. Now I get to my final two items. Finally, right? Oh, wait. No. Did I get three pairs of shoes? Oh, yeah. I got three pairs of shoes. Now, I'm not expecting a lot from these shoes. Let me just put that up there because, you know, I'm just not. Um, but I got such a good deal on this stuff that I figured if I had a miss on a couple of items that it'd still, you know what I mean, it'd still be worth it, worth the deal. So, I got the, these are not bad. Wow. I'm shocked. So they got the thing in there. They're these, um, like canvas, not canvas. Um, they got fur all the way to the toe. Nice rubber sole. Let me see if they fit. They do. I wanted something that I could just slip on, um, like to go take Nate to school or something. You know, not something that I had to lace up and buckle. They fit perfectly. Let me throw my foot up there. Those are not bad. What do you guys think? Hm, I like them. I'm going to wear these. Wow. Wow. I can't believe how shocked I am. Now, I got a couple more pairs of shoes. We'll see about these ones. Okay. I don't know about these ones. They're a little, you know, they're gonna be okay. They're not gonna be for like everyday wear. 
You, you know what I mean? They're not like a high quality, but again, I only paid like 12 or $15 for them. So what do you expect for 12 or $15? But they're not bad. They got the, I, again, I wanted something I could slip on. So I got the black ones and I got brown ones because you know, you never, for whatever matches. Um, I mean, they're smushed just because of the way that they were shipped, but I think these are gonna be all right. As long as they fit, they're not bad. They're really not bad. I am I'm shocked. Now, these ones I did pay a little bit more for. I read a lot of the reviews. They had really good reviews. And so I, I, I did pay, I want to say I paid like $25 No way. These are real leather. I mean, you can smell the leather. And this is real, like, rubber. It's not just, like, that foamy stuff. And 100% Keachu? I don't know. Now, I wish that it didn't have that label -y thing right there, but these are really nice. They're really leather. They've got a little zipper so you can put them on and off, but they're like moccasin me type boots. And these ones are army green. They had all kinds of different colors. I am shocked. These are super nice. Wow. Again, they're a little smushed just from the way they were shipped. Let's, let me try these on real quick and then I'll let you guys go. I really like those black ones that I had on, they're nice. Yeah, they fit. Maybe a little big, but once I have, I don't have socks on right now, so. What do you think? Here, let me stand up and put my foot on the table. Those are nice. Wow, so overall, I have to say that I am really impressed with my Timu order. Um, a lot more impressed than I thought I would be. Wow, amazing, amazing, you never know. I, I guess I gotta eat my words now because I have been such a, um, I've been such a, uh, you know, so against Timu this whole time and I guess it, I needed to give it a shot. So I'm not getting paid or anything for this. I'm not affiliated with Timu. I'm not affiliated with anybody. Um, I just thought I'd place an order and see what it was like and share it with you guys. So, all right, I eat my words. They're not that bad. Overall, I'm pretty happy. All right, guys, uh, thanks a lot for hanging out with me for this little bit and I'll see you guys in my next video. Have a great day. Bye everyone.